Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I know my day is beautiful so far. Staying positive. Can only think about positive things these days. And it makes me happy, and I like being happy. All right. So here we are with our Beginnings Entangle Learn With Me series. And this Beginners Entangle Learn With Me series will last like forever, even after I've been doing it for 10 years. Oh, then I'll be 80. But um, because I do believe that we are always in a beginner in anything we do. We're always a beginner because we're always learning new things. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my this one. Now, I need to learn what this is called. I've seen it done a couple of times by different Zentangle artists. And, and so, I, so, but I have not seen it done where they have explained what it was. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, now, just a minute. I got, a, I got such a glare. Let me fix this a little bit. If that helps any. Let me see if that helps my glare. No, God, jeez, that makes it worse. Oh, dear, that makes it a little bit better. Okay, got to move my lights around. All right, so I'm going to take one of my squares. I have made myself a lot of squares, and I, I like the three by threes, three and a half by three and a half. That's what I've been using mostly, I guess. Um, I saw where another girl, Janet Young, she is doing, Janet M. Young, she is, a, uh, she does a variety of things on her channel, but I just was, and I've watched her before, but I did not know, I didn't watch her enough to know that she does entangles too, and so I was just shown that she does entangles, so now I was watching her this morning. This one didn't come off of her show though, because then I would have known what it's called. And so if anybody knows what this one is called, let me know, and then I'll know too. And so, but I think this is a fun one. This is another fun one. You don't really have to measure or be exact and stuff like that. So this is simple enough to do. So we start in the middle. Uh, we're going to go diagonal. We're going to make a diagonal line down. And of course, you can use a ruler if you want to. It seems like I try and use a ruler, it doesn't help. Doesn't help me. And so then I'm going to make a parallel line right with it. Okay. Now that's my center line. And then now I'm going to make lines going all the way. I'm going to make, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So I went three lines on each side of that center line. But I try to keep them the same distance apart. And so, I don't know, that might be like a three quarters of an inch, maybe. And, or maybe more. I don't know. Okay, looks like this one's not, <laughs> this one's not going to have as many lines on it. But even still, it is, I think it would be fun to do just a whole great big old eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with this. I mean, if you just need some downtime and some think time. So see there when I have that one in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, see, I could go a line here and a line over here. There you go. Now, okay, so now, now I, I'm calling this is my um, cluster of rainbows because these look like little rainbows in here. See how they look like little rainbows all through there? That's what I think anyway. Okay, so what, what we do here, each rainbow has got four lines. One, two, three, four curves, each rainbow. So what we do here, I'm going to start right along this line. And so I know I'm going to have four rainbows starting from here let me show you i'll do one not rainbows it's only one rainbow but with four sections one two three and then the fourth one is going to be right there in that corner 
And so there's where that went, right, right from that corner. So see, this one went up like a quarter of an inch, then another quarter of an inch, another quarter of an inch, and then the end one is in, in, in the corner. But since my lines, it's not exactly a quarter of an inch, but just try to get them evenly spaced. Then you'll turn and you will go, put again, go one. Now you're going to put, you want them evenly spaced on this top curve that you, on the last little rainbow. And then so two. And then see, I've got this much space here to get to the end. So I'm gonna, that third one is going to go right to the middle of that space. And then the fourth one is going to go right to the corner. All right. Now we're going to go one, two, three, and starting from that corner, go to four. One, two, three, that went to the middle of that last bit, and then four, I'm going right to the corner. And then turn it and we're gonna get the, the, the next rainbow going the opposite direction. One, two, three, and then that corner, four. And then one, two, three, and then four. I'm just trying to keep the same amount of space in between each one of my curved lines. So one, two, three, four. And let me tell you, I have done, um, gosh, six or seven of these just practicing before. This was my first one. It was very odd. And so I did quite a few before I got them up with one that I said, oh, that one's cool. And so they all take some practice. Two, three, four. And see, you know, when you don't have enough space for the whole rainbow, you kind of just pretend that you see it out there. It's just invisible, sort of like a ghost. That's how that is. So then I'm going to go to the next one here and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use, and not all the people that do this, do the same thing, but I'm going to kind of use the, these four lines right here as kind of a guide as to where this one is going to start. And so I'll go one, two, three, Four. And now it, see, so I kind of matched up these starting points with these points here. So it looks like the rainbow is going under that bar. Okay, then I'm going to go, now here, again, I'm going to use this top line as just, it's going to start off from there, but just kind of put them four lines, the four curves equally along that first line. Then when I go back up here, I'm going to use this, this here one that I just did. I'm going to kind of use that as a guide. And see, these ones are even kind of fatter. These are fatter. And so I'm going to use that as a guide and come on down. And as you can see, I don't have them real even but it's good enough. It's good. It's just good enough. And then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. And the fourth one always ending up in that corner. And, and if you don't have them to where they're even with the ones on your previous row, that doesn't matter. Because, in fact, the first one that I watched, this come from the first one that I watched, and I was doing it along with, this person didn't have any of them. As you can see, this one here, none of these rainbows meet. They don't really actually meet. But then here on this one, then when I did this one, each one of the rainbows looks like it goes right underneath that 
that bar we put there in the beginning. Okay, so, in, and this is another one of those that um, you kind of have a basic design, but then as you're putting it together, you put your final touch on there. Because even though these entangles, a lot of them were created and then um, created by one person and the one person has like a ownership on them, you can, some of them are even copyrighted, I guess. I'm not sure how that works, but, um, but I try to give recognition to where I learn each one of mine. Although this one here was on, actually I've seen this one done two or three times. I've been watching so many videos, but a lot of them are done by an artist and they just say 20 Zentangles and then I, or 12 Zentangles. And then you go through and they don't give you the names of them. It's just, you watch them. You just watch them go. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. And so in that way, you know, I don't get the names of them, but a lot of them do have names. I'm watching, like I said, I'm watching um, that name I just said. Um, oh, gosh, it leaves me so fast. She's got a little monkey in her. Little monkey. Janet Young. And I'm looking forward to watching more of hers because it looks like she really knows names because she's been doing them a long time. And so she knows a lot of the names of these actual Zentangles. And I'm putting them in my book. A lot of them are going in there with um, I name, I'm going to call this my rainbows, but that's going to be my name. And so when I find out the real name, I'll put that one. When I find out more information about each one of them, I'll put that information below. I mean, I'll put that in my book as well. So um, I was going to put them all in my, well, I just named my book. I just named my book this morning, The Bomb, because I have a big old book that I've made out of magazines. And when it gets all filled, I just add another magazine to it. So it gets all thick. But um, I just named it The Bomb. I was going to put them all. I'm going to put some in my bomb because some, like I say, this one here, I'll have more than one of these. And I'll probably put some of them in my bomb as well. Put some of them in the bomb. That's why I named my book. I thought that was a really good idea. I got that idea from, I don't know, I was talking to Tammy and a and couple of people this morning, and they were talking about naming books, and I said, oh, I'm going to name mine The Bomb, because it is a bomb. But my bomb, my bomb book is this one here. I'm going to have to put something on it that says the bomb. But I have got so many things in this here book. Look at all them lips. But I got so many things in this book and just different things that it's like a glue book and a junk book. And I don't know. It's not really anything. Look at there. Got me a little zine in there. And, um, where are everything? Look at there's a coffee package. But uh, I'm naming this one. Oh, there's some more lips. I got to put that on my lip page in my bomb book. But when it gets like full, I just add another magazine. There's three magazines in here so far. So if I add another magazine to the back, then it'll be then there'll be four magazines. I need to put work in that one. I ha sometimes I don't do anything for a while. Okay, see how I get um. It was a squirrel. That squirrel just jumped in front of me. Well, anyway, here we still go again. And I'm using I'm using this last one here as my guide is where I'm going to make my rainbow, see? So it looks like that rainbow is going right underneath that bar. Isn't that cool? 
and then then oh okay I almost went the wrong way I was getting a little confused there my bomb got me confused I said I'm going to name mine the bombs because mine was being named the bomb because it's so it's ready to explode. But it's just my book that I just put stuff in. Whoops, I didn't put that one right, right. I was supposed to go to the corner. So that's why I call it, I just call it the bomb now. I'm glad it's got a name. It's kind of fun when you have names for your, one, two, three, four. It's kind of fun to have names for your, um, for your books okay now let's see how where was I going here two three four no I need to go from here okay I want to stay with this this rainbow going under so I'll go one two three four then one two three, four. Um, yeah. I should stay on, on topic. You know, when I do a video, I go off topic so easily. I don't know why. I just don't know why I do that, but I do. I just go off topic and I, um, I go off screen. I go off topic. I'm just, I'm off kilter, you know, and so that's okay. It's all right though. See here, we're still making more rainbows. Two, three, and the fourth one. Make sure it goes to the corner. And then here, we're going to go this one and we're going to match those on the other side. See, see here, see how that's going? Yeah, buddy, that's good. Now, and then this one up here, we're just going to go three, four like this. So it looks finished. Don't want anything. Now here, see, there's that, there's that half a rainbow. We're going to finish it over on this side. One, two, three, four. Just making sure number four ends up in the corner. All right. We want number four to end up in the corner. One, two, three, and the four is in the corner. One, two, three, four is in the corner. And then this little bitty piece right here, we just have one line. And I like it. I like it. Now, see. Oops, 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 oops. I missed this piece right here. Now, this piece needs to have a finishing touch. Two, three, and four. Now, and then shading. Now, this particular one that I was watching here, each one of these that were in this group, which I'm going to watch some more, and I'm going to, I'm, I'll probably have another one from this same collection that I'm watching, and then hopefully, then tomorrow's, I'll have the name of the, um, the name of the, um, artist that showed these tangles. I won't know the name of the tangles, but I will have a link to where I'm finding them. But they were all like 3D. They're all like a 3D tangle, which a lot of the tangles are 3D. But anyway, so anyhow, then when what we do is go right along both sides of that lot, the, this line, the separating line, go with your pencil and do some shading. And, um, the shading really, really, really gives it some dimension. The, the, um, so see a little bit on each side of those dividing lines, and that gives it a little shading. It gives it that more of a, a deep look, like it's like those rainbows are going underneath that, um, Maybe it's a vapor trail after an um, airplane. Big old jet or a comet 
flying through this. These are comets flying through the sky over all these rainbows. Wouldn't that sky look pretty like that? Yeah, I think so. So what's everybody planning to do other than saying tangles today? I got I got a few things planned. One of them, oh, is awful. One of them is awful. One of them is I got to do a couple loads of laundry. Now that is not good. But we'll get a couple loads of laundry done. Either that or Papa's going to be out of blue jeans. We don't want him running around with no blue jeans on. That poor old feller. His blue jeans, he's just losing so much weight. I'm telling you. His blue jeans are just baggy on him. I gave him a haircut the other day. I said, you look so homeless. And um, and so I gave him a haircut and I trimmed his beard. And now I told him, now I can't let you out of the, the house because some old woman in the Piggly Weekly is going to see you and snatch you up and keep her for your herself. So I said, I need to glue your old shabby hair back on. Make you look homeless again. Not really. He's handsome. I think he's very handsome. For 75 years old. He's just handsome. I think he just keeps on getting handsomer. I see pictures of him when he was young. And I said, nah. You're handsomer now than you were when you were young. And so. And now I take my little stump. I take my little stump. And I just blend in though that. That shading, that pencil, those pencil lines, just um, shading them in. Now, um, this morning I when I was watching a little bit of what was that name I just said? Janet Young, Janet M. Young. You'll know her when you see her little um, avatar picture. It's a picture of a monkey, and it's so cute. I love monkeys. Me and Papa call ourselves birch monkeys because we sit on the porch so much. Talking about the way the world and what we would do if we was in charge and everything would be great. But um, I was watching her. She said, like she was saying, she said she likes the black and whites. Which Zentangle, when it first did, came to, came, went about. It, the, the two people that actually designed it and started it, they did them all in black and white. And... Um, and I kind of like them in black and white better than in color. But some of them just look pretty in color. Now here, I'm thinking even on this these rainbows, if I were to take pastel colors and color the rainbows and color them all the same. In fact, I think I might do that on one is just color them all the same. Um. I think that would be pretty. So I do like the black and whites best. I feel that's the truth. Zentangles is the black and whites. And, um, but I think some of them look well in color. I want to show you just, I ordered another Zentangle book too. That one's not come in yet. Oh, here I am getting things all over the place. Yeah, such pretty ones everywhere. I got to get them all in my book. But I just wanted to show you in one of these books, not that one. These ones here do not have a lot of, there must be a whole set of these. I got nine and 10 here, but that's all I have is the nine and the 10. So there must be, but here, here it shows some Zentangle that's colored and it's so pretty and it's just really an image, but it's done so beautifully. But then, oh, and then here, look, here's a flower Zentangle. Now these are actually See, it says embellish it yourself. These are actually um, where the circle is a zentangle and it's on its own and then embellished around the outside. See? And um, then the leaves are added. And like the one I was doing yesterday that I said would look so pretty is a flower. And that that there would be really cool. The one I did yesterday, it would look so pretty as a flower. And look here, here somebody did make flowers and then even added a button in the middle. And those are beautiful. And let's see, here's resist strings in a tangle. 
as you look through these books, oh my gosh, I, you know, this one here is shading with color. Look how simple this one is. It's very simple. And then look at after you shade it, how pretty it just, it's amazing what you can do. Okay, so this book here has um, sections in that you can practice on your own. So that's kind of cool. And so there's that little house. Look at this, how pretty that is. And that's with the colors. So I think I'm going to be doing not just a Zentangle, but Zentangles even with colors as I move along. Because I want to do this every day. I want to do something every day. And this morning when I was, oh, look at this one, how pretty. Um... I don't guess I really looked at this one the other day when I was looking. Um, but when I was watching, why can't I keep thinking of her name? It just leaves me that fast. Look at that. Janet Young. When I was watching her, she mentioned a book. Oh, don't be mentioning books to me because I have got a bad thing about books. My husband and I both, we could live in a library and I think, but my, my husband likes to buy a lot of um, novels. All of my books are something like this. They're crafting books. It's something that, something that teaches you something. That's what my love is. Oh my gosh. Look at these birds on the tags. Oh my word. These are beautiful. I, you're not going to look through these again. These, see, I got a really, um, see, this is the one I didn't, this is the one that I did. Oh, look at that. And, um, beautiful, beautiful things. Okay. That's not what I wanted to show you either. This is the one. Look at these dolls. Look at these dolls and look at here. These are like those, those little dolls that you cut and then you just pull them apart and look how each one of them was was um, done with Zentangle and then colored. And look how beautiful they are. So look, a tangle a day keeps the stress away. And that's what we're doing. We're doing a tangle a day. And see here, here's, here it gives you the idea of watercolors that you can go ahead and do all your tangling and then paint them with the watercolors. And so here I've got that pattern, even if I want to do the angel, which these are going to come. The, these are because as I learn, I want to share what I'm learning and we learn together. But so many of these things, like look at those little birds. I want to zen, zen tangle. I want to tangle birds. I want to tangle everything. I want to get... You know, because just to make this shape of this bird, there's a heart. Let's see, does she have those in here? No, but um, see, actually, you could draw that shape of the bird very simply. And then the tail is a heart. And then put in them designs for the wings and such. How pretty that would be. So I want to go, I want to go out and look at this. Look at the teddy bear and all entangled and then put together. So my um, bomb, well, actually, I might make a new book just for my tangles. And I'll make, I'll make, well, actually, this is my book for my tangles right here. So I'm just going to call it the unicorn because that's what it is. This is the unicorn. I'll have to pick which unicorn I think it, this one is though because there is so many unicorns. Okay, so now that that is that is it for my going on my goings on today. This here and I'm just calling it my rainbow. That's my rainbow. And but let's see. I'm going to get my unicorn book out here. Where did I put it? I just had it yesterday. Elizabeth Marie. Oh, good grief. You'd think that by now I get so exasperated. You ever heard that word? Exasperated? I get so... Oh, good grief. Now I drop books. Now, I get so exasperated with myself because I don't know what I do with anything. I was just looking for my... um. 
unicorn book. Where did I put that? My unicorn book. Oh, you missed it, Dr. Marie. Okay, see, that's... Okay, well, thank you for coming anyway. I know you're leaving now, but anyway, let me just go ahead and... I wanted to read you something out of my unicorn book. My unicorn book grew legs and walked slam away. Oh, good grief. Now, instead of that, I'll read you something else. I'll find my unicorn book tomorrow or later today, probably two seconds after. Well, this is loading. Okay, let me get a book. A uh, book. This is not a book. This is a card. Let's see, you all, you need to send me some healing vibes because this brain is going to mush. Look at that. Could you imagine drawing that? Okay, it is only a thought, and a thought can be changed. The thoughts I choose to think and believe right now are creating my future. These thoughts from my experiences tomorrow, next week, and next year. Let me read that again because it just it went over my head. The thoughts I choose to think and believe right now are creating my future. These thoughts form my experiences tomorrow, next week, and next year. That time I got it. Some I'm one that has to read things more than once sometimes to actually have something sink in. And this is true. You know, the thoughts that you choose to think and believe right now are creating your future. These thoughts form my experiences tomorrow, next week, and next year. And so that's almost saying like today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it what you want it to be. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for being with me. And God bless. God bless. Yes, let's turn this off right here so we can upload it. And God bless.